What's up guys, welcome back to Halfman Half Tech. My name is Ben and I've been using Mac OS 12 Beta 7 for about six days now and this is my follow-up video. So I've been having quite a number of issues that I would like to bring to your attention. But before we look into the issues, since this update seems to have more issues than resolved issues on new features, there's actually a new feature. I don't know if it's a bug on Apple's site, because you can see here that the upcoming 14 inch and 16 inch macbook pro display resolution likely reviewed in latest mac os monterey beta and you can see that this was published on september 23rd by steve moser and also confirmed by mac rumors on september 23rd and i did some digging to see what these resolutions could be when it comes to the next upcoming 14 inch and 16 inch macbooks that are rumored to be coming sometime this year maybe in october or mid november and these resolutions are 30 24 by 19 64 and 34 56 by 22 34 so these could be going into the 14 and 16 inch display giving a panel pixel density of about 257 so that is something that was revealed in the code of mac os 12 beta 7 it's not mentioned by apple's release notes of course since they they typically don't want this information to go out but you can see that there was a change that i missed in my initial video when i covered mac os 12 beta 7 if you want to see my initial video feel free to check it out on the channel i'll leave a link to it in the description of this video and also here at half men half tech i do cover a lot of mac os and apple related content so if that is something that interests you and you want to follow then a sub to the channel would be fantastic now when it comes to my experience with this update these are the issues that i've been experiencing and in my opinion when it comes to mac os 12 this beta 7 is very very unstable it's true that when it comes to like the build number if we go to the about this mac section right you can see that the build number that we have here has an h at the end and before that we had a j on beta 6 so we typically took two steps in the positive direction but that does not mean that you know this is guaranteed to be better than beta 6 there's a lot of issues serious issues that i've been facing rather and the first one has to do with like final cut pro where it was misbehaving on different windows so sometimes as i'm editing or as i'm doing my video it just freezes and won't respond to anything and this is not something that has happened once it happened uh, like three times in the same day and i was like oh my goodness this is too much so i posted it about it on twitter and it seems like quite a number of people are having these um, responses from different apps and not just final cut pro and for me the only way i had to get around it was to force quit and relaunch again and once i do that a portion of my screen or the window that i would have closed the desktop it blacks out and after time if you close close that desktop it seems to be back to normal so it happens again and you know it's not just once it happened two times three times and it's something that's continuous so be aware of this that some applications will experience canal panics and you will see that your display will sometimes blackout and portions of it will black out so that is final cut pro and i thought that you know i was the only one experiencing this when it comes to final cut pro but my fellow tech youtuber friend tech hyped also experienced the same issue now i have an intel mac and he uses an apple m1 mac and you can see that he actually sent me a message saying hey any idea what's this my final cut got freezed while editing and he's actually using m1 mac and that's not all that he's been experiencing on beta 7 you can see that i asked him what version he's on and he said mac os uh, beta 7 and you see his build number 
and he also said that his keyboard automatic keyboard brightness is bugged on mac os 12 latest beta so this is something that i haven't experienced when it comes to keyboard brightness but the panics when it comes to final cut pro that i have been experiencing heavily but for example let's say i thought maybe final cut pro is like too heavy for a beta that's why maybe it's crashing so i went to imovie to test it out and you can see here when it comes to imovie i have like portions of my timeline that are glitching out you can't see what you're trying to trim or what you're trying to edit when it comes to this update so it seems to be glitched out as well but the good thing or the advantage that imovie has over final cut pro is that it won't totally uh become unresponsive you can see here that you know you are able to see what's going on in the timeline the only issue is that you know sometimes your timeline just blacks out or disappears like this or appears to be chopped so imovie okay so what about facetime facetime also includes video and you can see here when i opened up my facetime um it actually glitched out you can see it's blacking out and it won't recognize that maybe there's a camera or it won't even display my contacts on the left hand side so facetime 2 seems to be glitching out it's a lot of apple applications that are glitching out at this time and also you can see here that i had a blackout bag when i was uh, using my mac and i had to like force quit or relaunch uh, finder for this to try and work but after relaunching this didn't work and i had to actually close this window try and open another window or another desktop and relaunch this and that's when i could get rid of this uh, blackout bag so it seems to be like something that's common where applications just crash and you know you get a blackout screen or portions of your screen blacked out i don't know why this is so and also there's a bug that keeps on coming that says legacy system extension and says existing software on your mac loaded a system extension signed by oracle america inch which will be incompatible with the future version of mac os contact developers for support so those are some of the many serious issues and bugs that i've been experiencing when it comes to mac os 12 beta 7 and to be honest when it comes to performance actually before that on beta 6 the performance that i was having wasn't actually too bad you can see here that on beta 6 when it comes to on the previous beta when it comes to single core i had a score of 647 for single core and 2896 for multi core and when it comes to gpu i had a score of 17 1488 and if we compare this to what i actually have on beta 7 you won't see much of a difference so you can see here on beta 7 the single core score that i got was 647 and multi-core was 2888 and gpu was actually 17633 so performance wise it's performing okay it, you won't be able to tell much of a difference the numbers say that but when it comes to stability and easy of use like normal usage you can see that there's issues where it might crash and also applications will not work normally battery wise it's okay but performance wise there are some issues and bugs now that's about it for me guys if you like this video please leave a like and stay safe and i'll definitely see you in the next video Peace.